Yo, what's going on? What's good? It's your boy V Dump. Bad guys with another video. Welcome to use the opportunity to become a jungle boy and also use the opportunity to become the best you can possibly be. I give you this ticket, becoming a jungle boy pre 100k. Use it wisely and we welcome you. Hey man, this video is gonna be the greatest masculine advice your father never gave you. Um, you gotta have more self-respect for yourself. And people can see it. You don't have to even say a word and people can notice the self-respect you have for yourself. It's, it comes from your image. It comes from just you as a person, the way you represent yourself, the way you talk, you speak, your demeanor, everything about you um, comes with the self-respect. People can see that you give yourself. And you as a man, especially you as a black man too, right? You have to learn to have standards for yourself and standards for the treatment that other people give you. Um, and that's within your relationship, that's within your job, your career. You have to be a man enough, right? To check people when they're giving you the treatment that you don't appreciate, that you don't deserve, that you don't like. You have to be that way, you know what I'm saying? You have to have a, a standard and an expectation and self-respect for yourself. And we gonna get into that. Um, so the first thing about is like self-respect, right? Making sure your body right, you know what I'm saying? Get in the gym. I'm not saying you gotta buy the LA Fitness $35 a month. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you gotta get the Planet Fitness. You can easily do calisthenics, do your walking, and be on a calorie deficit, easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes within my own life, I, once I got very serious when it comes to weight loss, I lost 20 pounds. Now, I do know I gained it because I recently got uh, C19. I recently got it, so I'm not, I wasn't burning calories. I was eating food, right? <clears throat> but when I took my weight loss seriously, I lost 20 pounds like that. You know what I'm saying? Being on a calorie deficit and burning a lot of calories, I was doing 30 to 40,000 steps a day from working at my job and also going to the gym. Um, so yeah, that's the number one, that's, that's one thing right there is your body. Making sure your body right, you looking good, you healthy, you got good energy, you're not eating junk food. That's very, very important when it comes to your self-respect and the respect that other people's gonna give you. Um, there's been times, you know, when I've lost weight where I, I, I never even had to talk about myself. I was, oh, that's the lawnmower. Damn, nigga. Let me put this in. But, there's been family events, right? We we know the family events since Thanksgiving. They like, oh, you look so different. That's sometimes that either this, they like, bro, you done lost yourself, you look bad, or they like you look different, you lost weight, you look a little bit, you look better. And it's and it's been times where I didn't even have to say anything. Like all the people was giving me the affirmation, like, yeah, James, like, nah, James, he got discipline. He this is what my dad said, like, James, yeah, he got discipline. He will keep going to the gym and he would not stop. He would have that consistency. And that's respect right there. I didn't even have to ask someone to say something good about me. I just put in the work and I had self-respect for myself, right? To, to, to physically be right, that someone else gave me that admiration. Someone else gave me that respect. And that's important when it comes to your masculinity, right? In your life, because a lot of this shit is social. A lot, a lot of this shit is social. A lot of people are social agreeers, right? We've all socially agreed on a president. Now, some people may dis may have voted for a different one, but we still agree that this person is the forty fifth president. This person is the forty third president. We've all socially agreed on genders, boys, and girls. We socially agreed on these things, even if we disagree, right? And when people in a room give you respect and admiration and people think you're attractive, people mess with you, they wanna have a conversation with you, even that one outlier, that person that don't like you, they're gonna eventually agree and they're gonna eventually see something out of you that they like. And this is gonna be great for you within your career. You know what I'm saying? Being in those business rooms where they're like, nah, James, he, he works hard. Nah, James, I, I respect him, I appreciate his hard work. Um, 
and it comes with attraction too. There's a reason why everybody be like, oh, Rihanna, 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 Beyonce, 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 and females be like Chris Brown, Chris, like bro, females went from Justin Bieber to Chris Brown, bro. Like it, that's not crazy. <laughs> like that's not crazy to you, right? It's because of the social agreements, um, right? So like I said, the number one thing that's very important is the self-respect within your own life. Um, the next thing is standards, right? Uh, I think this is something that a lot of black men lack. I don't think we've, I don't think black men, right? Like when it comes to your brothers, your fathers, I don't think we as black men ever had like a sit down and was like, okay, what are your standards? Like, like what, what's your standards when it comes to the treatment that your female gives you? What's your standards when it comes to your income? What's your standards when it comes to yourself? Um, and standard is very important. It's a difference between, this is a difference between your standards and your goals, right? If your goal was to make 70K a year, you'd be like, oh, that's my goal, but I'm not there. I, I'll eventually get to that goal. That, that's, that's how a lot of people are when it comes to the goals. Like, this is a goal. Uh, they'll fantasize about the lifestyle that happened for that goal, but they're not there, so it's okay, right? But when you have a standard, for that goal you want. Let's say, instead of saying my goal is 70K, and let's switch it out with my standard is that I must be making at least 70K a year. At that point, you're like, I'm not hitting my standard, so I have work to do. You see you see the difference? You see how the goal is like, oh, I'm not there. Eventually I'll get there just by doing this, doing that, doing these habits, whatever, whatever, right? But when it's a standard, you're like, okay, I'm not hitting my standard, I have work to do. And this is something that I think every man needs to have a sit down with himself. Think of the lifestyle you want, right? Whether it comes to where, where you want to live, the house you want, the family. Do you want a family? Do you want to provide for kids? Do you want to have a wife? Do you want to have these things? And just think about the lifestyle and the income you need to get that. And I'll say my own standard. My own standard is, is 70K a year, right? That's a thousand dollars a week net. Net means after taxes, right? So 70K a year, a thousand dollars a week, 4K a month. This is net after taxes, not gross. That is the standard when it comes to the income because it's a lifestyle. That, that's the money that I believe I need to be making, I should be making in order to live the lifestyle that I want to thrive. I'm not trying to, I'm not just trying to survive, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to get by, live paycheck to paycheck and just survive. I'm trying to like thrive. I'm trying to live a lifestyle, vacations, nice cars, um, homeowner, having all of these good things and good attributes. So therefore I set myself to have a standard that I must be making at least no, no less than, you know what I'm saying? $70,000 a year. Um, so yeah, that's the next thing I need. That's the next uh, part of the greatest masculine advice your father never told you that I'm giving to you. Sit down and just think about the standards you wanna have within your life. Um, standards and expectations within your relationship too, the way your female treats you. Uh, not not many men was taught like how to check your, how to check your girl and how to let her know that there's a, boundaries and expectations like bro people don't bro when it, when is your father right or your your older brother said bro like you should have boundaries and expectations and standards within your relationship like they don't do this like you know what i'm saying it's something that's very important though especially within a long-term relationship having boundaries standards and expectations and letting your female know when she's not hitting that you know what i'm saying and whenever you feel like she's disrespecting you or she's not giving you the treatment uh, that you appreciate. Um, the next advice, greatest masculine advice I would give that not many fathers give. Um, I would say, say is to have persistence and, and be the type of person to not quit and not to be a quitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, Honing on that, honing on not being a quitter, honing on being persistent, honing on 
being like having the mindset of like, man, no matter what, I'm gonna get through it. This is something that I have within my life. Um, I can feel depressed. I can feel messed up. I can feel mentally bad, right? But I always say I'll get through it. I always, like, even sometimes I'll have days, but I'll be like, but when I wake up tomorrow, like, I'm gonna be fine. I, it's weird that, like, you know, sometimes I can just go to sleep and the next day it's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but I always tell myself that I'm gonna be fine and I'm gonna get through it no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that's very generic. That's not as deep as I was talking because this is really off the top of the, the dome. Um, but yeah, definitely have the persistence and be able to just, just, just get through shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and have faith. I'm not saying you have to be religious, but have faith that, you know what I'm saying, you want to get through it. Um, but now I'm going to end it off right here. If you don't know who I am, my name is V. Don Camille, a like-minded men and woman that wants to progress mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. I give you this ticket, but come in, uh, Jumbo Boy, and it's a pre-100K ticket. Use it wisely. We welcome you. Uh, become it one of the Jumbo Boys. And now, man, I give me your own greatest masculine advice y'all would give in the comments down below. Y'all let me know your opinions on what I spoke on in this video. But now, man, I'm here. I enjoy the video. I'm out. Gang. Okay.